Come on, people. You're smarter than this. Exactly my thoughts. say that God doesn't exist, you abandon knowledge, morality, and truth. Uh, not necessarily, Tim. Uh, you could just see it from a different perspective. Again, you can see what we consider God to be considered to be basically nature. Um, and the uh, knowledge just comes from having a brain and just learning. And truth, again, truth is, is, is something that, again, it, it depends. Because again, there are scientific truths, there are philosophical truths, there are metaphysical truths. Doesn't mean that we have to agree on all of them. And that's just stupid. When you say that God doesn't exist, you abandon knowledge. And you say such ridiculous things like, I could be wrong about everything I think I know. Uh, that isn't stupid, that's being intellectually honest, that you could be wrong, because you, you acknowledge your flaws as a human being. I see it all the time. And it doesn't make my position weaker, it makes it stronger. Because then people know that they can discuss with me. Because then I'm not somebody who thinks that I already have 100% grasp of what is true. I have to recognise my own faults and foibles. Uh, I have to admit, I have to acknowledge that that again, I could be mis 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 misled or mis uh, reading into something that isn't there. Again, I have to concede that. But so do they. That is why there's a discussion here. If we all said we hundred percent know for a fact that God does or does not exist, then therefore there's no there's no reason for a discussion, is there? I may not even exist. Are you kidding me? When you say that God doesn't exist, you abandon morality and say such absurd things like nothing is absolutely wrong in every situation. Not even rape, not murder, not even child abuse. Are you serious? Well, I would contend that those things are absolutely wrong, again, that they're entitled for appeal. And the reason for that is this. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. When you say that God doesn't exist, you abandon truth. You don't even claim to know truth. You suppress the truth in your unrighteousness. You abandon the truth so much, so bad, to such an extent, you come up with dumb ideas. It's more likely that we live in a computer. What that argument is, Tim, is called the simulation argument, and it's actually usually used, used in connection with proven errors of God, because it, we can't know everything. Again, the reason that it was used against you is because you back Saito and Brunengate's postulation of the, of the presuppositional argument, which is not even the original presuppositional argument. Um, sorry. I've been told that I argue from an intellectually dishonest position because I claim I know things. Absolutes do exist. Absolute moral standards do exist. The Creator God exists. Stop the foolishness. Alright Tim, I, I already used the, he, the Star Wars clip. Um, but I will ask you a legitimate question. I'd like a response to this. And this is our honest question. <clears throat> Could you be incorrect about about what you think? Could you be misled in some way? Could you be fooled in some way? Is there any way that you think that you, like the rest of us, are, are in error in a certain way? If not, why not? Why are you a special case to the rest of humanity? Again, th th you know, th this doesn't make you weak. It just makes you a human being. Could you concede that you could be wrong? And if, if not, why not? Is there some sort of thing that, that precludes you, personally, of being wrong? It's a fair question. Stop the stupidity. You're being absurd. It's not me who's being intellectually dishonest. It's the atheist who's being intellectually stupid. Come on, people. You're smarter than this. But do you not think it's... It's... 
equally wrong if they are saying stuff like that to you to call them stupid. And again, there are stupid atheists out there. I totally agree. You dope at time, boy, you dance, can't play in PSO, uh, people who believe in that zeitgeist stuff, people who raise realist people, um, People like, you know, on certain days they're so stupid on certain things. But saying that this that all stupid is a sweeping generalisation that doesn't really work and doesn't really make you look good, does it now, Tim? Now, Tim, here's the thing. Atheists aren't stupid, nor are they, you know, some people who happen to be atheists are stupid. That doesn't make atheists stupid now, does it? It's been... So... This is my second question to you. Are there intelligent atheists out there? I don't want a yes or no answer to this. And if so, name them for me, please. Have you ever read an atheist book or a different perspective than yours? If so, please tell me, because I've read The God Delusion, I've read God Is Not Great, I've read books that disagree with me entirely. And do you know what? Do you know what that does with Nothing. Absolutely nothing, because I can read a different perspective, I, dis I don't agree to disagree with it. Why? Because I'm a human being, and I have the right to my opinions as they have the right to theirs. That is what's been an interesting and having a conversation is about, Tim. And I can't understand how you think calling them stupid is going to bring them towards your side. It's not, it's going to push them further away. This has been following me, Maxine, for Dreams, Make a True, out.